Hey, you can never have too many mice, so add a new one to the collection. Introducing the Microsoft Touch Mouse. Hey, what's up guys? Another Barnacles Man Cave video for you tonight. Uh, picked up a little bit of an impulse buy today. Figured I'd do an unboxing. Um, I got another mouse. Uh, to be more precise, the Microsoft Touch Mouse. Uh, honestly, I didn't pick it up for any reason other than it just kind of looked cool. Uh, as you guys know, I have tons of mice. I have Razer Imperator. Battlefield 3 edition. I also have the Microsoft Ergonomic Mouse, which is really nice for when you're just surfing the web and coding. But I just saw it and I thought it was kind of cool because it looks like it's a it's a multi-touch surface mouse with gestures. So hopefully you guys can get a good look at it. I'm still getting this whole camera thing figured out. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. First thing you'll notice is the box is actually amazing. It's it's magnetized on the front and opens up into a display case. And it's got some information here showing all oh, one finger gestures for scrolling and flicking, two fingers for snapping and seeing windows side by side, three fingers shows all open windows or reveals your desktop. Okay, well, it must come with some proprietary software because Windows doesn't just do that on its own. So, and it's in this, you know, slick looking case here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, wow. Okay, so the top just pops right off. That's wonderful. It's a miracle these actually stay in the stores. And let's pull the base off here. And you see inside the box, this is actually very neat packaging. This is something that I'd like, it actually kind of reminds me of like the iPhone packaging. Um, it looks like in here, we've got a set of Duracell batteries. Hey, rock and roll, Duracell's the best in my opinion. Got a tiny little wireless dongle. Looks like this pulls up and out of here. Looks like I have some kind of a USB charging cable with a Velcro sticky pad on the bottom. I'm guessing that probably goes here for charging the mouse. Although, it shouldn't charge since it has non-rechargeable alkaline batteries. All right, well, I'm confused. Anyways, this must be used for something. Oh, it's for the wireless transmitter. It's so you can put it up closer on the back of the desk to get a better signal. See, it just Velcros on and then you just put the end here in the holder. All right, well, that's kind of clever. That's cool. Uh, looks like on the bottom here, we have instructions on how to release the mouse. Okay, well, that I thought that was it. Let's see how this thing, okay, there we go. It's released. Looks like in the bottom here, we have another nicely packaged fold out that has, Looks like it's just the manual. Sorry, I'm getting getting things kind of messy here, guys. And then we have something down here. Oh, and that's the, the door for after you put the batteries in. So we'll go ahead and put the box together all nice and neat so you guys don't get all furious at me for destroying it. Last time I destroyed a mouse box, I caught some hell in the comments. Hopefully this makes you all happy. Okay, all back together, nice and sound. Put that to the side. Got some garbage. Um, first thing I noticed, the mouse feels incredibly light. Uh, it looks like it clicks as a single button, probably based on whichever finger is touching the side is left and right. So that's kind of weird. Kind of reminds me of the Apple, the old Apple mouse. Here's throw some batteries in here, shall we? Oh, well, that's weird. I just put in one battery and it already turned on, so maybe it doesn't even need both of them. Okay, close it up. And there you have it. Blue on the bottom. It looks like it has a power switch to turn it on and off. Uh, it's got a little storage port in the bottom. It looks like for the USB dongle. That's actually really clever. So if you use it for a laptop, you just click on it and it just ejects out. All right, got to give them points for that. Moves pretty smooth, feels pretty comfortable, incredibly low profile. If you look at it next to the Imperator, it's, I mean, it's like a full half an inch shorter. So it's really low to the desk. Um, you pretty much just lay your hand on the pad. I don't know if I really like that. Um, the click action on it, it's a little weird. I, I kind of want to try an FPS and see how it works. So I'll do that in a different video. But I can tell you right now, 
the Imperator glides like glass. This doesn't glide that good. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have replaceable pads, so this one creates a lot more friction. So this would this would be a good mouse for like desktop activities. I don't know if it would be good for FPS though, because it's got a lot of drag. You can even hear. It's very loud compared to the Imperator. I mean, it's it's got a lot of drag, surprisingly. Well, we'll play around with it and try it out. Let me uh, let me plug in this little wireless dongle and see if we can get some reception. Okay, plugged in. Apparently, we're installing software. Microsoft Nano Transceiver. All right, well that's cool. Looks like all the software is on the dongle. Microsoft Touch Mouse. Which hand is holding the mouse? I'm gonna say right. Three fingered gestures. Okay, well I can tell you right now, the mouse isn't moving that good on the screen, even though the wireless transmitter is only about four feet away from it. So I'm guessing they give you this extension because it does not transmit very far. Let's go ahead and try the extension out. Well, I can't do that right now because we're in the middle of an install. All right, so three finger gesture. Next gesture. To hide all windows, pull three fingers down, okay? Next gesture, two finger gestures. To maximize the window. Looks like it's two fingers up. Yeah, that's kind of cool. To minimize the window. Oh, two fingers down. All right, well, that's pretty cool. So it looks like there's quite a few gestures here to switch between things and do things. So we'll just go ahead and just get out of here. add the extension on here so I'm guessing the little wireless transmitter you would just mount it like up on your desk as close to the mouse as possible it's a pretty nice cable come on plug in okay well the mouse seems to work a heck of a lot better like this well here let's let's try this out so let's see so minimize maximize all right that's cool the little mouse cursor shows the shows the sweeping gesture that you're using huh well all in all I mean there's not much else to do with it maybe later play some games but uh, build quality seems pretty good not nearly as good as the Imperator though um, creates a lot of drag the weight is okay I mean, it's, it's definitely heavier with, heavier with the batteries in it than the Imperator, because the Imperator doesn't have batteries. And it's got a very, very limited range on wireless transmitter. So I'm thinking this mouse is more tailored towards a laptop uh, or a desktop with the transmitter close. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video. The touch mouse seems like it's kind of cool if you want something that's gesture based. I mean, the whole minimize, maximize, and restore with two finger swipes is actually quite cool. Um, I'll have to play around with it for a while before I form a real opinion on how good of a mouse it is, but now we have a third contender for the mouse pad. So hopefully this is the last mouse I buy, but I doubt it. Alright guys, take it easy. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe. Check out my other videos. They're usually a lot more in depth than this, but I had limited time tonight. Uh, hope this answers some of your questions. Leave comments, ask questions. I'll be sure to answer them. Take it easy. Figure I'd give you guys a little bit of a close-up. Hey guys, thanks for watching another one of my videos. It was a little bit of a short one, but time was limited this time. I'll get another video up here in the next couple of days. Till then, please subscribe, check out my other videos. There's a lot of them. Take it easy.